My father was a hardworking man. At the end of the day, everyone would know him and they'd try and be his friend. He was outgoing. He was just always so happy and just, just happy to be alive. He always had like one designated spot where he'd be. And I'd always look up and see him there and then just to not see him there was crazy. He made me want to be just happy every day. He was just always laughing, always excited to be what he was doing no matter what it was. And he just always had that work ethic to just keep working hard and you know things will work out. He was always my number one fan, just whether it was giving me positive feedback, negative feedback, whatever it was. Couldn't ask for anything better growing up. I would like to hear him just say he's proud of me. I knew I had to make him happy, so every day, senior year, I was up at 5 a.m. working out, going to hit on my own and then going to practice later because I knew I had, I had something to do and I knew who I wanted to do it for. My name is John Murphy. I am from Seymour, Connecticut. I play in the New York Yankees organization and I'm a shortstop. I didn't know where baseball would get me. But after junior year in the Cape, I realized I had a shot. We are a very close family. When my husband died, it was devastating for all of us because we were so close. With my dad passing, that's, you need someone there. And I have my family, and just to know that she's there with me every step of the way, no matter what, no matter where I end up, if this falls through, if I keep going, I know she'll be there with me. She's the perfect mother. My name's Josh Heenan. I'm head strength and addition coach at More Physical Therapy. I started working with John five years ago when he was a freshman at Sacred Heart University. It's definitely been a learning experience on my end, seeing an athlete that really wants to take his game to the next level and someone that has the dedication and the, the will to work. I knew the progress I made with him through the four years at Sacred Heart and I knew where he could get me. He had a hunger for it, he wanted it, and you know, if someone said his Running was a little slow, he went out and, and ran harder. If his hitting was off, he went to the cage. There was a, a big dedication to it. Well, John just elevates his game every day. It's, it's always coming in, trying to figure out how we can get better, coming in with questions. He's made me a lot faster, and I think that's the big, probably the biggest asset to my game right now. I was around a 7'2", 7'1", 60, and I just ran a 6'5", this year. That is 100% from him. It's very rewarding to see my athletes put in a lot of work with me and have the outcomes be desirable on the field. We had an opportunity where uh, John was training alongside three or four of our freshmen and he marched himself all the way down about a mile to the train station, took the train home for 30 minutes and then walked a mile and a half home and one of the kids spotted him walking down the street and was like, why is he, why is he walking out in the rain? And I had to explain to them you know, this is because he doesn't have a car, he realizes he's going to make the sacrifices up front so he can hopefully have the glory in the long run. And them seeing that has taken all of their athletic abilities and potentials to the next level because they see what he brings to the table. Towards the end of the college season, he was getting daily phone calls, letters, texts, and he would forward them to me or call me about them. It was overwhelming, it was very exciting, and he was very excited too. On the morning of draft day, I woke up to four or five phone calls from different teams. We're watching on the laptop, and then come the fifth round, the Mariners called me, and they gave me an offer, and I knew the Yankees was better. So we were gonna wait around for another few rounds, and then the sixth round, they called me, and they offered, and from there it was. There's the field deal. The Connecticut Speed School lets me come in here. They give me unlimited access, unlimited hours, and the cage is mine, so they let me go to work. The first season in the minors was a grind, to say the least. It was at the field at noon every day for a seven o'clock game. It was, it was crazy. Now he realizes that 
instead of it being a part of his job of being a student athlete, now it is his job and everything that he does is relating to that ultimate goal of making it to the major leagues. No matter where I start, no matter where I end up, I just want to stay consistent throughout, offensively and defensively. I can't say I would ask for anything else, just probably that I play the game for him every time I step on the field. Thank you.